Hey ladies and gents, I'm Emily, a girl obsessed with Dr. Pepper, coffee, good books, and Broadway. Like everyone else, I've had my fair share of ups and downs, but through it all, I have learned one valuable lesson. We create our own reality. As a result, I spend time beautifying my world and finding solutions to create a problem-free life. Join me in the craft corner for DIY projects and weekly inspiration. Tune in now. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. I'm bringing booty back Good honey, tired of skinny women die No, I'm just playing, I know you think you're bad I'm here to tell you every inch of you is perfect From the bottom to the top Hey everybody, this is episode 10 of The Craft Corner And I am excited to bring you a very special occasion Known as Oktoberfest Oktoberfest is officially starting on Friday this week So I thought for our last two minutes traditional German drink that is made of apple juice and sparkling water. Or sparkling soda? Soda? Pop? What is that? What do you guys call that? Club soda? Anyway, so it has this German name. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I am going to show you how to make apple cups that you can fill with this amazing traditional German beverage of sparkling apple juice. The process is pretty simple. Once you have the top separated from the bottom, you simply take a knife and start to hollow out the center pieces of the apple. I went ahead and took a spoon so I could scoop out any of the extra pieces that I couldn't loosen up with the knife first. As you can see, it's all hollowed out and ready to go. It's a perfect little apple cup for your German Oktoberfest tradition. Simply slide a straw in place and you are ready to fill up your apple cup with our sparkling traditional German apple cider. Now it's time for the really fun part, the pumpkin keg. The pumpkin keg is just as simple as the apple cups. Simply remove the top part of the pumpkin, scoop out the inner guts of the pumpkin, use your hands if you don't mind getting all grungy so you can get all the little individual pieces and seeds and strings. And then you're going to take a little spigot or spout from a pitcher that you may have around the house. I went ahead and cut a small little hole in the front of the pumpkin. Make sure it's not too large, just big enough for the spigot to begin twisting into the front of the pumpkin. Once you screw that in place, the little nozzle will be secure and you will fill up your pumpkin with your traditional apple cider or sparkling apple cider beverage, or perhaps another beverage that I will not mention on YouTube. Now 
now it is time for our festive blind taste test. Let's face it, companies spend a lot of money getting their logos out there, building a reputation for themselves, and over time, people can have a little bit of a subjective opinion about how something tastes simply because of the brand name that's associated with it. This is a fun little game that will take away all subjective opinions of a brand and simply leave it up to your taste buds to discover. We will take simple paper bags that you can pick up at any grocery store and I added a little texture by putting it into an embossing folder for my cut emboss machine. I simply sent it through the cut emboss machine and as you can see it added some really awesome texture to give it a little bit more of a flair for our guests at Oktoberfest. Once I take my discreet bottle that I will not let anyone know what the name is, I slide that into the paper bag, I use some simple twine, and I go ahead and wrap the neck of the bottle so that nobody can sneak a peek and find out what they're actually tasting. Now it's time to decorate the bottle. Put a number, one, two, three, four, however many taste tests that you're doing so people know how to reference what it is that they did or did not like. Yes, we have all had those guests with special dietary needs and you're sitting there pulling your hair out thinking, oh my gosh, what am I gonna make for these people? Well, I have saved the day with this gluten-free Reuben. It is as simple as taking a potato, well, in this case, dropping a potato. Again, I will reiterate, I'm super klutzy. You will cut small holes throughout the potato to allow it to ventilate. You will take an olive oil. This is a garlic infused olive oil. Thank you to my sister in Chicago. This stuff is amazing. You will simply brush the olive oil on all sides of the potato and then take a sea salt, sprinkling all sides of the potato as well. Once you have your potato prepped, you will put it in the oven and bake it until the potato is cooked through and through. I then cut the potato in half, hollowed out the center, and began piling on the ingredients, Russian dressing, sauerkraut, corned beef, and of course Swiss cheese. Throw it all in the oven just to bake for a few minutes and melt the cheese as well as warm all of the rest of the ingredients. And there you go. Within only a few minutes, you've made a gluten-free option for your guests at Oktoberfest.